you bought a domain and you don't have custom emails. That means that you're using a BPS or you just didn't buy a hosting plan. You just bought the domain. So in this case, we are going to need email hosting. And in this video, I'm going to show you tying an email from Hostinger. So let me show you how to set it up right now. The good news is that email hosting is actually really affordable. Now on Hostinger, you're going to grab a plan for less than a buck a month. Now, let me show you where to grab that. Jump into the link that I'll provide in the description and head on over to email, go to tiny an email, and we're going to scroll down here and they have two plans available. One is 99 cents and the other one is 2.99 a month. Now, most people would be way more than enough for the 99 cents, so I would recommend grabbing this one and you get all of this included with this plan. So I would do is add it to cart, select the 48 months, which will lock in the price and you're good to go for four years and it's $47 with 52 cents. So that's less than a buck a month. Now, how are we going to set this up? Let's go into our Hostinger dashboard and you can have all your services available here. Now you can see I have my business starter right here. It's pending setup. So this is how you are going to see it. We're going to go into setup. Let's go to start now. We're going to use an existing domain and we're going to add my domain. In this case, I'm going to set it up for this one, sastudo.com and I'm going to continue. Here we go. The email that I want to use is, for example, I'll use info. I'm going to set up a password for this. So I'm going to suggest a password at the password there. Here we go. Let's go ahead and create. All right. Now, this is where the fun part starts. Remember, we just bought a domain and we're not using any hosting and we need to set this up. Now, don't be carried away. This is not super complex and we're going to do the step by step here. So, for example, find your domain provider DNS settings. So in my case, I am using Cloudflare and well, it's not here. So that's no, that's not a big issue. I'm going to use the settings anyways. So let's go ahead and get started. So we're going to need to start receiving emails by adding this MX records to our DNS zone. So on my Cloudflare account, this is my DNS section. Now be aware if you're using any hosting provider, go into the DNS settings and set this up just like you would here. So I'm going to add the first record and remember it's right here. So we need to add an MX record. In this case, I'll select the type here. I'm going to select MX record and it's going to be root. And I'm going to add the first setting. So it's this one, priority five. Here we go, priority five. And I'm going to add this record. I'm going to add the next record. So again, it's a MX record, again, with the root. And the setting is for this one. Go ahead and add it. And the priority for this one is 10. So let's set that up. Let's go ahead and save it. Let's add the next record. Next record, it's a TXT again to the root, and we're going to add this. So let's search, search for TXT. There we go. Root record. We're going to add this. Save it. Next record is a C name. Okay. And here we go. Let's add the first one. Add record. C name. Copy the next setting. Okay. Here we go. And I'm going to go quickly with the rest. Here we go. I just finished setting up the DNS records. Now be aware, sometimes with Cloudflare, we might need to remove the cloud here. So the proxy, just in case. So let's go and continue. There we go. Everything's good. We're going to need it for this email. We're going to finish setup. Okay, email service activated successfully. I can set up my devices. So let me show you this. I'll go into the setup devices. Now, in this case, if you want to set this up with a third party system for emails, for example, Outlook, Gmail, Apple, Android, um, whatever you want to set this up, here's the settings. You can select one of these to help you out how to set it up. Now, it's super easy. One's going to be for the protocols for the in and one is going to be for the outgo outgoing emails. So we can also use the webmail inside of Hostinger. So let me find the email that I've just created. Here we go. Let's go next. And here it is. So let's go ahead and manage this. We have our email account and we are going to use the webmail. And that means we don't have to use an email client. We can use it straight from here. So let me add the password that I generated. Let's go ahead and log in. And here we go. We are inside the webmail of Hostinger. Now, the beauty about this is that obviously we don't have to do anything, any setup. We can go straight and use this, start sending out 
emails and receiving straight from here with the email system that Hostinger has. Now that's up to you if you wanna set this up on a third party system or use it straight from here. So you have those options available. Now be aware there's some several options available here, just in case that you forgot the password that you set up, it's super easy to just change the password here. The settings, create forwarders, create aliases, create automatic replies, create catch all, or delete this email. And you have your limits, your limit information here and the settings on the left also. If you you messed up on some of the settings for the DNS, if something's not working right, you can go ahead and view them here again and set them up. For example, the DKIM, we didn't set that up correctly, so we need to do that. So it's just in case we just have to remove the cloud on the cloud there. If it's, if it's another DNS provider, you won't have any issues with that. But it's super easy to have custom emails with this system. Plus, like I mentioned before, it's really affordable to have an email hosting system that you can start using right away. But there you go. If you want to grab this email service, I'll leave the link in the description so you can check it out. And that's a wrap.